pretty much any science is going to be important to magicians because don't forget we're doing one thing that science actually doesn't do and that is deceive people deception is the core of magic in an innocent way and scientists on the one hand are completely uh, novices they don't know anything at all about deception all the data that they study they don't think is working back against them to trick them so in one sense we're a really new ex a new experience a new sense of data for them to study on the other hand they know an awful lot about real studies that can prove what we sort of just have hunches about I mean we're using an experiential you know from the bottom up hey if we try it once or twice it works um, but they can tell us is this reliable is this something that can really you can count on or if not what are the odds on that so chances statistics the science can give us that kind of background and data but there's an interplay and certainly there are many intelligent people in science and there are many intelligent people in magic you wouldn't think that there's much of an overlap but once you start listing things like human perception human attention uh, timing misdirection how long people spend uh, focusing on things, memory, how, how well people memory, how well they don't memory, what they miss in their memory. There's an awful lot of overlap. Well, the one thing I hope magic doesn't teach you is how we do it, uh, because that's secret. We don't want any of that stuff out. But other than that, I think magicians can be the test subject for a lot of scientific experiments. If we're out there in the trenches, we're out there performing for real people in real situations who are just watching a magic show and that's a hard kind of data set for a scientist to get on their own but if they want us to try something work on it do test runs do control situations we're available to do that so i think science could learn an awful lot from us as far as i'm concerned one of the big things that motivate all people are the wishes the fantasies to somehow or another escape from the, bind, the binds of reason and logic. Everybody has, everybody has a wish for a superpower, and that is simply to be able to do the impossible in one way or another. And, and magic can actually not give you a blueprint, but give you a temporary feeling of that, a little bit of a spirit, it's a bit of a liberation. So in that sense, I think magic is a really nice, I don't want to use the word escape, but it's a respite and, and maybe even an image of what could be attained someday.